We've done a couple of episodes in the past on plasma balls, and they are so cool. But today I want to take a look at the inside, that tiny Tesla coil right on the inside. How does it work? Well, we're going to take one apart and show you all of the components today. Let's go. Okay, plasma balls, totally awesome. And they're an amazing piece of technology, very cool science toy. Let's put that aside for right now, because today we are focusing on Tesla coils. Now this is what's inside of a plasma ball. It's just, there's a glass sphere with some low pressure elements and gas in there. So that's why we see those tendrils of plasma. Let's turn that off. All right, so how does this work? Well, this is a mini Tesla coil. And this all kind of comes apart so I can show you all the individual characteristics. So this is the secondary coil. This is the primary coil. Those are the two things that really make this Tesla coil work. Now there are massive Tesla coils out there that are creating huge bolts of electricity and lightning all over the place, but we're not going to make that because that's kind of dangerous. So we have a mini tabletop one here. Now to start off, you have to start with some electricity. So we're going to use a wall outlet of 120 volts. Now the 120 volts gets through here and into this cable. Now what that does this machine transfers it into about 1,000 volts uh, through this first primary cable. Now this primary cable of 1,000 volts is creating a strong magnetic field. Now with this tube, this is something that has hundreds or possibly thousands of tiny copper wire spools all the way up. Now if I were to screw this on here, this is not actually connected physically to the primary cable. So the primary cable has say 10,000 volts running through it. With a couple thousand volts here, we can increase the 10,000 volts to upwards to 10,000, 100,000, or perhaps even a million volts coming out of the top of this cable. Now that's the, in essence what a Tesla coil is. It's a, a transformer of voltage. Now, just as a basic reminder of how transformers work, it works through the principle of coil reduction or um, difference. So if we have 120 volts coming in and we want 20 volts output for say a laptop, we're going to need six times fewer coils on the output side than the input. So if we had 36 on one side and then six coils on the other, that would decrease the voltage to 20 volts from 120 divided by six equals 20. That exact same thing is happening with a Tesla coil, but in reverse. And when I say in reverse, I mean like thousands of times in reverse because this coil here is the secondary coil and this will act as one half of our transformer. Now this is a very simplified view of what this is, but it's pretty good for the basics. So this has, I'd say a couple hundred, maybe a thousand different tiny, coiled wires all the way around this. Now in here, we have our current voltage only going through one wire. So this is one, maybe two coils, that's it. And that's what our voltage is going through. And if we say there's probably already a little transformer in here that bumped this up to a couple thousand volts. Now, as soon as we put this on top, it's not physically connected to this other coil, but this coil or with a couple thousand volts running through it is creating a magnetic field that all of these wires are, are experiencing. And that is causing the voltage to be magnified hugely. So we have probably 100,000, maybe a million volts coming through this little Tesla coil. Now I'm gonna put this adapter tip on here so we can actually see the electricity ionizing the air around it. And when I say ionizing, we're actually going to be creating little tiny streams of plasma. Now it's not as visible as a beautiful plasma ball like this because it's the natural atmosphere, there's higher pressure than in here, and it's not a pure concentration of say argon, which makes a really nice visible plasma. But for this, let's turn it on. There we go, do you see that? That is a bolt of plasma. And that plasma, I can touch it if I were to touch it, if I were to touch it for a long time, I could burn myself so it's not ideal. But this is creating wireless energy. So if I were to bring some light bulbs close by, look at that, it lights it up. 
<laughs> this is so cool. Now, same thing. So if I bring a light bulb, this is a depressurized glass tube. And if I bring it close by, it lights up. That is so cool. Look at that. Now, this is the basis of wireless powering of technology all over the place. So if you have like a iPhone or a smartphone that you have a wireless charging pad on, this is how it works. Obviously, there aren't little bolts of, of plasma shooting out from it, but this is the same basis. Now, another cool thing you can do with this is you can demonstrate something called ionic propulsion. So I'll just remove this. Doo, doo, doo. Put on this one. And I'll put on this here. Now, there's no moving parts, but we're gonna shoot off plasma off of each end of this little pinwheel thing. And look at that, it just spins because it's expelling ions. And that is the, that is the propulsion method of this movement. And I think I'll probably do another episode on this later because it is a really cool piece of technology and we can work on the applications then. But for now, that is just amazing. It's working so good. That's awesome. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been the basics of what a Tesla coil actually is. And yeah, if you have any comments, leave them down below. I am Jonathan Allers, and this is Destructive Creativity. Make sure you like and subscribe because we are having a lot of fun and it really helps us out. See you next time. Bye.